Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech, and today I'll be doing a speed test comparison between iOS 13 and iOS 12. Let's get it started. Okay, so for this test here, I have two iPhone SEs. Now, I know these here are older iPhones, but I'm really interested to see just how much difference there is between iOS 12 and iOS 13 between these two older iPhones. Now, this one right here is my primary iPhone SE, which is still on iOS 12. This is my backup SE that's running iOS 13, which we'll verify here in just a few moments. So let's go ahead, turn the phones around. We'll give these phones a boot up here, starting now. All right, so iOS 13 here on the left, iOS 12 here on the right. I left the case on this one just so I'll know the difference between the two. Uh, let's which one starts up first here. Okay, so iOS 13 starts up first, and right behind it is iOS 12. And you'll see here iOS 13, and on the right, iOS 12.4.1. So the first test I want to do right now is testing out Touch ID, starting up right now. And about the same, so there we go. See, there you go, about identical there. Uh, open these two phones, so not much difference there at all. Now, I got dark theme on iOS 13, very welcome addition to iOS 13, uh, as opposed to you know not having it here on iOS 12. Going into settings here, you will see you know the difference, and I just love dark theme on smartphones so i'm glad apple hopped on board and actually added that also the volume here i like it here on the side instead of being right there in the middle of the screen so yeah another added bonus now this here will not be going through all the settings this is going to be a speed test as you see right there all the apps lined up right now we're going to, go ahead and make sure everything is cleared out and but first of all, we're going to run some benchmark scores. So I got Geekbench and Antutu. So uh, actually, going to go ahead and press those right now. Uh, Miss tap there, and as you'll see, iOS 12.4.1, iOS 13. There you go. Let's go ahead and run this benchmark test starting now. So this will take a few minutes. So I'll let this test run out, and I'll come back shortly. And as you can see here, the iPhone SE on iOS 13 only scored slightly better on single core and multi core over the iPhone SC running iOS 12. Let's go ahead and check out N22. And here you see the iPhone SC on iOS 13 got a score of 158,121 and the iPhone SE running iOS 12 a score of 155,264. So slightly better, but benchmarks don't mean anything. Let's just go ahead and get in with the test. Let's go back home and clear everything out. And we'll get started in with this test, starting now. A slightly faster there on iOS 13. Go into YouTube. Just a bit faster there on iOS 13. Calculator, about the same. Calendar, about the same again. Clock, it's just very, very close. Camera even Amazon so a bit faster there on iOS 13 let's go into Instagram a bit faster on iOS 13 App Store even that was dead even let's go into settings even again let's go into snapchat a bit faster on iOS 13 Twitter and faster there on iOS 13, Netflix. All right, a bit faster on iOS 13 again, Temple Run 2. So very close, few apps is out doing it here on iOS 13. We'll see how gaming here is. A lot of it has to do with your internet speed as well. And right now my internet speed is not the greatest, but as you see right here, iOS 13 did take it just by like a couple of seconds. Let's go back home, Subway Surfer. So a lot of apps in the background. It's gonna be interesting to see how well it does 
on the reloads as well. But that was iOS 13 again and dead trigger. So there you go. A bit faster on iOS 13. But overall, I mean, it's not a big enough difference here. Just opening these apps, you know, I mean, of course, everyday usage is going to be different for you. But these are just an idea of how these apps open side by side. Different apps is going to have different reload times, different opening times. Your internet speed will play a major role as well. So, yeah, let's go ahead and check out the uh, reloads here and RAM management. Start with Dead Trigger. Open, Subway Surfer, Temple Run 2, Netflix, Twitter, a slight reload, Snapchat, Settings, App Store, Instagram, Amazon, Clock, Calendar, Calculator, YouTube, and the Bible had to slightly reload there. So pretty good for 2 gigabytes of RAM. Let's go over here to iOS 12. Do all of these here. So far, so good. I like Touch ID. Okay, a reload there on Amazon. And that was open. So there you go. Very, very similar there. I mean, it's amazing. Two gigabytes of RAM on a phone that's three years old with 16 apps in the background. And I think one, maybe two reloaded on each. Not bad at all. Not a big difference here on between iOS 12 and iOS 13 as far as performance goes. However, more testing will have to be done. You know, as far as you know, more intense gameplay, battery life, as you see, both of them started up at 100% battery life, and both are now at 98%. So I have to see how battery life is as well on iOS 13 uh, compared to iOS 12. And so far, I've not experienced any bugs on iOS 13 here on the iPhone SE. Still a great phone. I know it's you know, a smaller iPhone, but honestly, this thing's still a beast and it still works great. No issues whatsoever with either one of these phones. And I still highly recommend them. So this is just my little speed test here between iOS 13 and iOS 12 on the iPhone SE. If this was helpful and informative in any way, hit that like button. Any questions or comments, leave them below. And I'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Also hit that bell for notifications. I'd appreciate it. Y'all have a good one and thanks for watching.